it's Claudia with Crazy Island Studios. I'm just about to get ready to record a Freedom Journal Friday video and I was going to unpack some stuff that I just picked up at the art store and I thought, hmm, maybe I should do a quick haul video and show you guys what I got. So that's what I'm doing. Let me get the noisy bag. Oh, um, you all know, know I live above my dad's shop right now, so or his garage, which is his shop, and it's going to get noisy because he's doing some noisy stuff. Grinding or sawing or something. I don't know. So, I have some stuff. I really tried to be good today, I really promise. I went in for a few things that I needed. First off, I needed some workable fixative. Um, I don't know how I got to this house moved without a can, or maybe I just bought something I really don't need and I have some hiding somewhere, but I can't find it, so. Workable fixative. That was a really long story about workable fixative. I am sorry. Um, I could not find my black Stabilo pencil. Remember last Freedom Journal Friday? Couldn't find it, had to use charcoal. Um, so I went ahead and got me a new black one. I have all the other colors here, but not the black. I don't know how it got away. I don't know where it went. And they were having an awesome sale on watercolor brushes. I don't have watercolors with me, so I did get something in place of watercolors. Um, <laughs> But I didn't have any watercolor brushes, so I thought I would pick some up. They had an awesome sale, and if you bought two, they were, or anyways, they were buy one, get one free, and they were 25% off before buy one, get one free. So I was pretty happy with that. So I got a few that are definitely going to be um, strictly water or watery type. I, I can't say just watercolor because if I use acrylic inks or whatever mixed with water, I consider those to behave like watercolor. And hopefully those won't, like, it won't matter as long as I clean my brush as well. But I really like them. And I got them in a style of brush. And uh, actually the brand just happened to be on sale. But I have no brushes by this brand. I have no brushes with this color handle. So that makes it really super easy. I actually don't even know if I have any brushes that have white bristles. So it makes it super easy for me to just know right off the bat, these are my watercolor brushes. Don't use them for other stuff. So I got those. Um, and because I was sad the other day when I was working on my page, and you only know this if I'm on if you're on JKS, but I was trying to do some stuff with some inks, dilutions inks, and I usually have like this little tiny thing to spray them in and I didn't have one so I sprayed it on my mat and it was a mess and so I got me just a cute little palette here to put some liquids into. It's like a dollar a dollar. Um, I went ahead and grabbed because I was there and these were there. I grabbed some spray bottles. Now these say watercolor spray bottles so technically you should put watercolor in them. I will be using some acrylic inks that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but I like to buy my bottles for sprays that I handmade or spray inks, acrylic ink sprays. Um, from the craft store because the ones that I buy at the cheap stores like the Dollar Tree, every single one of them clog. Every single one. I have, I'm reaching behind me, I have one spray bottle of my homemade spray inks and it is in an Art Minds, you can't read that, it says Art Minds is the brand name um, from the craft store or art store or whatever spray bottle. It's the only one that doesn't clog and still works. Thankfully it's in black which I use all the time. But I've always wanted to have a few other colors and it's nice. I love dilutions but it's nice to have them done in acrylic because once they dry they don't move. So um, I just grabbed a few spray bottles. I might regret that decision later when I have to pack but I just I couldn't resist. Um, so Working on JKS lesson last week, or this week, um, I didn't have any watercolor, and I had this like huge plan to do this watercolor page, and so I had to like use what I had. So I busted out my Neocolor 2s and some Inktense pencils, because I don't even have my Inktense blocks, or none of this would have mattered. My watercolors are all packed, my Inktense blocks are all packed, my acrylic inks are all packed. So I had dilutions, I had a few... Ink tense pencils and then my Neo Color crayons. So I made do and I made it work, but I was just feeling a little bummed because I've been like, it's all Gina's fault. Gina's been doing these um, watercolor Wednesdays. I think it's Wednesdays. I hope it is. If you haven't checked it out, check out her page for some cool watercolor um, 
journal pages she's been doing. And I want to do something like it because she's all inspired me. And I'm sorry, I know you can hear all that racket. I'm doing my best here. Um, so I wanted to like work in, this is so loud, oh my gosh. Okay, I think it's done for a second. So watercolor was sad I didn't have any when I wanted to do the page. So I was walking around my art store and I found these, oh look, there's more noise. Mm -hmm. I picked a really good time to record a video, didn't I? Gosh. I will know when nobody watches this why they don't get past this point. Oh my goodness, it's never ending. Is it over? I think it might be over. Okay, so as I was walking through, I've seen these a number of times hanging on the wall of my art store and I just kind of pass them by because I have acrylic inks. Um, and I never really paid much attention to them. And then I was looking at the watercolors because like, oh, I have some, but I could get like an inexpensive palette or something and all they had were like student grade watercolor palettes with not very many colors. I would have bought a student grade one if I was at Michael's or something and it had a lot of colors because I actually have one and I like it. Uh, and I would have wasted the money to buy another one for five bucks. But I wasn't there and they only had really like crap student grade. Not really crap. They're probably good but not enough colors. And um, they had of course all the professional tubes of watercolor. I did not want to get into buying a set or the individuals are expensive. You know, so I saw these again walking by and it has the colors for mixing. It has your blue and your magenta and your yellow and then it has a black for you which, you know, can't go wrong. Um, and it comes with recipes to make over a hundred colors. So it already has like the recipes to mix the right combinations of these. So they're mixing colors and I was really excited because they are very watery and they look like they're going to be very much like watercolor, I'm hoping. So they weren't cheap, I'll tell you. They were a little bit. But there's four of them and I can make all these other colors and so I, I just got them. I just, I had to. And then just in case my little palette isn't enough because I'm hoping maybe I can just mix a few colors at a time as I use it so that way I can just keep the big bottles full. But if not, I found this nifty little palette that is um, for watercolor and I was trying to see if I can see the price. Oh, it's $5 so it wasn't expensive and it's got four wells and then it has all these little closed little tubs that you can actually remove, those lift out. I don't know why I'm trying to show you this in the packaging, but it has all these little tubs, so if I make enough inks in the colors that I love the most, then I'll have like my own little wet watercolor. It'll be more like, you know, dipping into Dilutions inks or something. But I thought it would, it would suffice to do what it is that I was looking to do, was just some watercolory type um, pages, so. That's what I got today in my haul. Oh, another cool thing. I was asking my sweet lady. This is all from my local art store. It's called Allard's here in Fresno. Um, it is a small business owned by folks who live here. And I try to go there and buy what I can there. I do still hit all my sales and coupons and all that at Michael's and Joann's. I'm not going to miss out and, and not get my savings on those things. But my art store doesn't carry like Tim Holtz and Dilutions and a lot of those things that you find in the more mainstream craft stores. They carry more, um, I guess you would say, professional artist stuff. I don't want to say it because it sounds terrible. They carry a lot of student grade stuff too. Um, but they, they don't go into the whole huge mixed media. They're getting there. They have jelly plates, so I'm impressed with that. Um, oh, good night. That's going to go for a little while. Okay, so um, I have this little tub of molding paste from Golden, and it's just a little two ounce um, like sample one that they gave me at my little art store a while back, and it's got the label on it because I used this in my travel journal kit or my creating on the couch journal kit. And it's, you know, it's almost half gone and I thought I might as well ask see if they had any more that way I'd have some so I because I'm like limiting myself not to use it so that I don't run out so I went and asked her if they had any and she said she'd give me a call if she found some samples because they were getting ready for this big event and she was supposed to call me tomorrow and she called me back like half an hour later 20 minutes later and she's like oh I found a sample for you of some light molding paste will that be good enough and I found some fiber paste 
and I was like, oh, that's definitely good enough. You know, I love the light molding paste. If you guys don't know the difference between light molding paste and regular molding paste, there's really no difference except light molding paste doesn't weigh anything. Like, this bottle feels practically empty, and it's fantastic for your art journals um, or anything that you're carrying around or on canvas because it will not cause the canvas to stretch from the weight if you use a whole lot of texture um, or molding paste. So the light molding paste is awesome for that. So they come in these cute little two ounce tubes now. I'm like super excited about the tubes for some reason. I just am. Um, so yeah, I think these, I hope they're all sealed still. Oh, nope, not even sealed. Um, so she gave me a little tube of the light molding paste and she gave me some fiber paste and she's like, oh, let's go get a color. And she pulled out this huge box of golden uh, little samples, like they're half ounce bottles of paint. I tried to poke through, but like I couldn't find any colors I didn't already have that I really wanted. And she's like, oh, well, let's get another medium then. And how about this one, glazing medium? And I was like, cool, I can always use more glazing medium. I actually don't think I have gloss glazing medium with me. I have my satin. So that was cool. And then she just kept digging and she found me a little tube of glass bead gel, which is one of my very favorite um, gels to use. And I did not keep any with me because I have a larger tub and so it's all packed up. So super excited to have a little mini glass bead gel to use. So that was kind of cool. So I've got like, you know, four free mediums. That's like, that's a huge deal to me. So uh, love my little store. My ladies, you know, they all know me. I come in there with my pink hair and they're so sweet to me and chat with me and they're all, they all know I'm moving and, you know, that I'm going to come stock up at their store as soon as I know if there's any room left in our container to um, take some canvases and such. So they've been treating me really good and I was really excited because, you know, I spent money that I really probably didn't necessarily need to spend, but I got free stuff, so yay for me. Um, so ask, if you have a local art store and it's a small, like, you know, local business versus like a Michaels, ask them. They get this stuff free from the manufacturers. So ask them every now and again when you go in, hey, do you have any samples that I could have? You know, I have, a, you know, a couple different things that they've given me in the past and I don't often ask. And I will more often, if, especially if I'm going to go in there and drop $100, I'll ask for some free samples. Like, they're happy to give them. She was super happy to, um, you know, look for a molding paste sample for me. Specifically took my card and my number and called me. And then was more than happy to give me all the other stuff extra just because I'm a regular customer. So, you know, support your local business. Ask them for samples. Ask them for little tidbits. They are happy happy to give you that stuff. Um, they want you to come back and support them as much as you can. I mean, everybody goes to Michael's, we all know that, but, you know, yeah, be nice to your local stores if you can do that, and they will treat you good back. Um, they are awesome to get me um, new caps for my paint tubes whenever the caps have broken. They've done all kinds of just little things for me that really make it feel special to go in there, so, um, yeah, just a little, you know, push there for you guys in your local businesses and your small businesses. So that's it. That's what I got today. And I feel like I got a ton because I got four new mediums um, that I wasn't expecting to get. So I feel like, you know, I don't know. Feels like it was worth it now. And <laughs> I'm going to go play with these. I don't know if I'll use these in my next Freedom Journal Friday yet, but we're going to do something fun and we'll see you guys in that video soon. So um, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye for now.